Regarding the fifth diode, its function is to have a point where I can control the voltage, but without being affected by the capacitor. Remember that what was happening here was a sinusoidal wave. We are going to graph it here. Remember that here we had a sinusoidal wave, and as soon as we pass the filter and the capacitor, we already have direct current. But what I need for certain functions of the platelets, which we are going to go deeper into later, is a part that allows me to measure this effect, and that I can control how many times. It falls to zero. A certain electronic circuit, so to speak intelligent on the board, needs to know at what moments in time we are falling to zero. But thanks to the capacitor that no longer exists, I actually lose it, I lose it and it is cleaned, so what the diode does is that, at a certain point in the tracks, the effect of the capacitor does not affect. I am going to show you directly, this is still direct current but not filtered. On one side we have, one side of the capacitor and on the other side, we are going to measure here before the diode, and look what we have here, there it is. This is a bit higher up, but well, the oscilloscope adjusts it so that it looks better on me, but look at what we have, we have the waves rectified to one side, but without filtering. So from that point the microprocessor can observe at what moment in time it crosses zero. If you look more closely here, notice that we have a peak attention of 300. From peak to peak it is also 300 because the electrons do not they go the other way. And the frequency is 100 hertz. Because it falls to zero 100 times. Twice the frequency of alternating current. If you had 60 hertz, it will fall to zero 120 times. And that is the function of the fifth diode. It is to leave us an area to measure for two functions. I'm going to give you a brief preview on the one hand to make a fan or fan work and on the other hand to correct the, the PFC, the power factor. When we want to correct the power factor, there we need a division between the effect of the capacitor and detect this. But we are going to see that later. The idea now was to show you how this circuit works and how it is measured with a multimeter and how it is measured with oscilloscopes.